Well, welcome everybody back to Monday Night Raw. It's yours truly, Astra Gaming. And I'm Bailey! I'm a hugger! You're a hugger? Don't touch me. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna throw you back in the van. Ah! Uh, please no, Daddy. Oh god, please don't go there. Won't go there. Anyway, my name is Plastic. <laughs> what we got, uh, what we got going on here, Astra? We got a fatal four-way match. As far as I'm gonna go with it. Alright, All right, well, we got Bailey. <laughs> She's here. No, I am just teasing. We've got a fatal four way match right now with Bailey, Sasha Banks, yes. Charlotte Flair. Yes. And you thought I was going to say Becky Lynch, but I'm I not. I thought you were. It's Alexa Bliss. Oh. The I fatal four way match to determine the next number one contender for, I believe, Peyton's Peyton Women's Royce? Champion. Peyton, yes. Say it again. Say it again there, Astra. Peyton Royce's Women's Championship. I don't know if I want to. Say uh, it again. No. Oh, Peyton Royce's Women's Championship. Oh, that's just music to my ears right there, that is. It's Alexa Bliss's. Now she has to do the stupid Fatal 4-Way to get back at the championship. But you know what? That's okay, because she's going to win it. Well, she has to go th through uh, three of the four horsewomen. More like they got to go through her. What? I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I'm excited for this match. Three of these women we've never seen before. <laughs> in, uh, on Raw or SmackDown. No. So, uh, that's interesting. We sure haven't. It's been, uh, really strange that they have been out of the tunnel picture for so long, but I mean, they have had their time to shine. Charlotte has had, what, like 2,700 title opportunities and, uh, championships? I think nine. 2,700 times about right to me. Yeah, you know what, you're probably right. You're so, probably. I mean, she doesn't need any more. She doesn't need any more opportunities. She's okay. She's not that great. Andrade would beg to differ. Why you gotta bring that up, man? I don't know. It's felt like I should. Wow. Yeah. How about you keep it on point? <laughs> I don't have many points right now. Uh, this match is kind of the bottom of my list, but we're open and raw with it, so... Clearly our general manager has something to say about it. I mean, it's pretty bad when your announcers don't really care about a match. Yikes. But we expect the crowd to. Either way, here comes Snoop Dogg's cousin. Sasha Banks. The boss. Sasha. Out of this group of wrestlers, I will say that Sasha Banks is my favorite. I'll agree with that. I appreciate her wrestling style. I think she's uh, too legit to quit. But she did quit. She never, though. She... Okay. She's still here. She... This is the first time we've seen her. Yeah, but she was, she was backstage just hanging out and catering. <laughs> Either way, we're having some fun with this today. It's been a great weekend. Very excited to uh, push forward. We're on the road to WrestleMania, Plastic. Oh, oh. That's a thing. That's a thing. I wonder how that's going to go. I'm excited. I hear through the grapevine we're, we're expected to go to a very large arena this year. How about... Here comes Alexa Bliss! <laughs> <laughs> My favorite of the three, four uh, again, women you, in this you, match. Uh, you, you talked about... Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I was going to say you talked about her getting numerous title opportunities, but this is only her second one. She won on her first one. She, uh, she did, lost then. it. And she's never going to see it again. Because Peyton Royce is never going to give that belt up. She might. She never will. Any she's one of these four women could take that from Peyton easily. You, you think that. I know that. Wow. Wow. Peyton is only champion because her best friend let her be champion. Have some faith in Peyton Royce and the Iconics. <laughs> Come on. I might, but... This match is about to kick off, so let's see what happens next. Probably some wrestling, I would imagine. Ah, uh, yep. It looks like or it. Like whatever it was. that was. It takes Charlotte down to the ground, and Bailey and Sasha are over there fighting the best friends, supposed best friends. No, that's Trent Beretta and Chucky e. T. Yeah, but Sa Sasha Banks and Bailey are pretty good friends. Well, they're not the best friends, so rescind your statement. No. 
I like the bliss trying to take some swings at Sasha, but can't make the connection. He, he's staring at me. You guys can't see this, but I feel I feel very threatened right now. Charlotte finally getting her way back to her feet, and Bailey taking complete control in this match. Oh, look at that! One best friend down on the ground, the other one getting kicked in the face. Oh, so friendly they are. Some great friends. I don't know what. Unbelievable. Alexa's doing. Yeah, I don't. Maybe they're not best friends. Okay, fine. I rescind my statement. Good. <laughs> that means I win. Look at this. You think you win? Oh. Look at what, what's what's, ba what's Bailey doing? Oh, look, helping her best friend. That's something nice of her. And her best friend just leaves her. She gets thrown out of the ring. Unbelievable. I have I I can't I can't continue this. I don't know where else to go with it. But Alexa Bliss taking Sasha to the mat with a beautiful leg sweep. And Bailey and Charlotte on the outside, a little bit of an axe handle, bit of a slower match so far as all four of these women trying to secure their spot at WrestleMania. Charlotte just ate it outside, she was throwing it, she just tripped over her own feet and just fell. That's pretty great. Oh look at that, saving her best friend, whoa! Oh, never mind. Here you go, <laughs> eat her buckle, best friend! Best friends for life! They're in it for a championship, of course they're gonna do it. I mean, you say that, but Billy Kay literally gave the championship to Peyton Royce. I can't argue there. No, you can't, because there's, oh, there's a sledgehammer in play. Uh, excuse me, Alexa, what are you trying to do? She can't connect with it, though. No, she missed like four times there and then smacked Charlotte Sasha, sorry. Right in the hip. I wouldn't even say the hip, that's like the badonka dunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa needs to just put that thing down. She can't hit anything. <laughs> Yikes. I need to stop speaking, apparently. <laughs> I got nothing. I, I got nothing. The commentary on this one is going to be a little bit uh, all over the place, I think. It's because I'm very distracted and not really into this. As Bailey climbs to the top rope, as Charlotte had a bat and threw down the bat and then caught Bailey because she didn't have the bat. And Throws up on her shoulders and drops it back for a Samoan drop because she's Samoan. Ooh ah. Yeah, double knees from Alexa here, stomping Sasha in the face as Bailey is now e eating some knees from Charlotte as well. This I remember is... back in under old management at like the same time you had Roman Reigns' reign of terror going on there, and you had Charlotte Flair doing the exact same thing, being the female version of Roman Reigns, get crammed down your throat like a good old Friday night. It was a bunch. It was a bunch, but uh, we just saw a taste of bliss. Yeah. Twisted bliss, sorry. I just it completely glazed over it, but she only got a pinball there on Sasha Banks. She did, count of two. Very close. Is now Bailey taking the oh, turn job, Bailey. pinning her friend. Good job, Bailey. Oh, ba uh, Bailey's trying to win, too. Yeah, by pinning your best friend. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What? Totally scandalous. Like, ideally, if they were best friends, they would knock each other or like knock uh, Charlotte and, and uh, Alexa down and pin them at the same time so they make it a triple threat. Oh, that would be smart. But they're clearly not best friends as, oh, Becky just ate chair real bad. And Sasha just ate chair too. Now what's for dessert? A pin. A pinfall. Get in there, Charlotte. Uh, uh. A kick out from Sasha Banks there. As Ooh. Charlotte like went between them. Bailey has a bat. And I believe Charlotte is now, uh, unconscious. Now Alexa has the bat. <laughs> Who gets the bat next? I'm not sure, but Alexa better capitalize on this and take Charlotte back to the floor. Watch out, coming down from the rafters. Is that Sting? Oh, he's going to get the bat next. Bailey just did an arm drag. That was cool. And Charlotte just need Bailey. That was okay. And th throw to the outside. Good job, Charlotte. Aw, oh, look at that stiff right from Alexa right there. Big knee on the outside from Charlotte to Bailey. As Alexa picks up the chair, but not the bat. I don't know why she's opting for the chair instead of the bat there, Astra. I'm not sure. I, I can hardly keep a straight face right now. I'm just talking facts here, man. <sighs> Sting came down to the room after and went to catering. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, look. Double knees! The signature from Alexa there is now Bailey coming in to take her piece of the pie, I guess. Yep, there we go. Throwing Alexa. Oh, right Bailey up. got the bat! Yeah. The only person I don't think who has had the bat was Sasha. Whoa! Kip up and did 
to Ada. Yep. That was that was that was impressive. It was really impressive. So now, uh, Charlotte and Alexa there in the middle of the ring. Alexa taking her down. Bailey about to take it. Neck the bat, breaker. Pick up the bat. Pick up the bat. Pick up the bat. Nope. Sasha doesn't want the bat. As she oh. gets hit by that vicious DDT from Alexa Bliss. Nah, Bailey saying, nah, none of that. And a big vicious knee knocking Alexa Bliss down. And then Bailey gets the bat again. Yeah. And now she's going to beat her best friend with it. I would call that a home run there. Right out of the park, Astra. Uh, we're in the ninth inning of this match. It's a double play. I don't know any more baseball terms. I don't even know if double play is it. Oh, fire ends, Gary. Looks like Sasha Banks is stealing third base right out from underneath Bailey's footsteps. One might say that she's taking the shortstop to the championship. Yeah, I, I think we should stop there while we're ahead. Oh, you know what they say, three strikes and you're, you're out, go home. Alexa got the bat. One more time with that bat. Is yeah. she not showing unconscious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Oh, what's happening here? We're getting some uh, wrist locks out on the outside, some punches, and a bunch of stuff happening. On the inside, it's some more stuff. Tried to go for a kick. It didn't work there, Charlotte. Try something new, girl. Ooh, that, that's new. Surprised we haven't seen a spear or the, uh, the elusive figure eight. I'm not surprised. Charlotte Flair. Oh, look at that! Beautiful uh, leg drag takedown. Yeah, but made her really tired. Gravity uh, gravity did all that work if she was tired. Uh, I don't get it, man. Ooh, what's Bailey sneaking in her doing? What's Bailey doing? Eating punches. Ooh, right to the eyes! Fatal four way, no disqualifications, so the ref allowed that. But that's still pretty nasty. To be fair, our refs aren't very good here anyway, Astra. Ooh. That's a good point. Hopefully, they get a new. Uh, they, they, they fire the works of them and bring in a new batch after WrestleMania. Like this! Taste of bliss. Ooh, going for that pin. Going for that pin. Count to two. Oh, Bailey kicks out there. She wants another taste of bliss. She wants some dessert. Yikes. What's dessert going to be? Uh, looks like we're about looks to find like out. Delicious, delicate treats. Or not, as Bailey reverses. The DDT and hits her with a clubbing forearm. And now she's calling for something. What you got, Bailey? What you got? Nothing. Big elbow from Alexa Bliss reversing the Bailey to belly. I go for the pin. Meanwhile, Charlotte and Sasha are just on the outside, just fighting. They're not even trying to do anything in this match. They're just fighting. They don't think they hate each other. Get in there. You can't win the match out there. Russian leg sweep. I'm a mark. Uh, you did there. there. The double knees again from Alexa Bliss. This is... Poor Bailey. Hope she didn't eat anything for lunch today because uh, I don't... I got nothing. I got nothing either, but Alexa Bliss going to the top rope, going for that moonsault one more time. No. No. Reversed by Bailey. Now it's Bailey's turn to turn this around in her favor. Charlotte, Sasha, get in the ring. Do something. That was just a suplex. Bailey, why didn't you do your, your finisher? Cause she's not done with Alexa yet. There it now is. she is. Uh, Bailey to belly going for the pin. Let's see. Is Charlotte confused? Nah. Charlotte is very confused, but Alexa Bliss kicks out just before that three count. Very lucky on her part. Oh, single leg takedown. Big knees to the knee. Knee on knee action, man. I likes that. Oh boy. But oh everybody's boy. everybody's sleepy here today. Everybody definitely uh, pretty gassed at this point. This match has been going on for quite some time. Definitely in like the fourth quarter here now. Uh, yeah, sure. It's not a baseball term, but we'll go with it. Oh, power bomb! Beautiful. Oh, jerk Arana. Beautiful moves oh, here from Alexa and Bailey. Yeah, look at Bailey. She's stealing this. No. She almost did. Count of one. Bailey got the bat. Ugh. Yeah. Vicious. Absolutely vicious with that baseball bat, but no, oh. gets hit with the chop. Reverse, deep, deep, deep but not. Just it's smack like a neck, head on your knee. It's like a ne neck breaker, maybe. There you go. Maybe a brain buster. I thought she was going for a reverse DDT, but nah. Just, just knock her out on your knee, man. <gasps> Bailey's back up. Bailey don't care. Bailey gets a knee. Bailey's saving Sasha, and yeah, then Sasha. immediately turning. <laughs> and Incredible. Hitting her with a suplex. Beautiful. Here comes Charlotte. Ooh. 
Cut with the knee. Cut with the forearm. Throw it against the ropes. What's Bailey doing? Ooh, sliding under. Ooh, Hurricane Rana. Alexa Ooh. Bliss trying to steal the win Seems here. It. Bailey, it's Bailey's calm. She's confident. She knows what's going on. She don't care. Ooh, forearm from Alexa. She got the bat. Bailey's going down. Bailey is out cold. And so is Charlotte, for that matter. And now the only two women left are Sasha Banks and Alexa oh, Bliss. Bailey's back up. Bailey don't care. You got this, Bailey. Ooh. Oh, Bailey's going after Alexa. She ain't done. She ain't happy. Bailey's taking names. Look at her go. Sasha Banks taking down Charlotte. Bailey, Bailey to Bailey. Bailey. Could this be it? You got this, Bailey. You got this, girl. Yeah. Where's Alexa's total opportunity now, Astra? Flying at the edge of the ring. Unfortunate. Definitely, as uh, Bailey pinned her best friend. Yep. <laughs> best friend with uh, major air quotes around that. Look at that. Look at that vicious forearm on the outside. Taste of, bl taste of bliss. Twist of bliss? Taste of bliss. Twisted Sisters. I, I think it's Twisted Bliss. I don't know. Whatever. It's irrelevant. As our victor tonight going off to WrestleMania to face Peyton. <gasps> yeah. Bailey. Look at all this carnage in the ring. There's a steel chair. There's a bat. There's a sledgehammer out of frame. What a wild match. What a wild night. That was a pretty good match, though, to open off the show. To open off Monday Night Raw, we had all of that. Good luck following that, boys. And coming up next, we've got Rey Mysterio, the King of the Ring, versus a mystery opponent. That's the not disclosed to me. But now I think I know who that is. Otis Dozovic. Not quite. Making his debut on Monday Night Raw. Otis Dozovic. Ricochet. What part of this is Otis? Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Could be. Not even close. But Ricochet making his debut on Monday Night Raw. Could be more excited to see where this guy's going to go with his career. But I've got uh, high hopes. He's got, he's got a, a spot to prove tonight against the King of the Ring, Rey Mysterio. Yeah, okay, I guess so. I mean, the veteran versus the newbie, both high flyers, full of flippy stuff. Oh, so much flippy stuff. Like, look at that. Look at that flippy. I, I honestly think that Ricochet is more flippiness than Ray was in, in his prime. That's a bold statement, I know, but... Sometimes you're... Flippy is good. Sometimes. It has its moments. It certainly adds to the argument that wrestling is art, but I mean... There's only so much I want to see of uh, boys flipping around before I want to go to like some weird opera circus type thing. I want to see some good old-fashioned wrestling. That's totally fair, but I mean to to further stem from that, this is the first case of the flippy that we've we've seen. Well, we haven't even seen it yet. And uh, you know, you know what to say. If you get a bad case of the flippy, all that you need to do you need to lie down on the ground and uh, wait for the flippy to wear off. There you go. Maybe drink a little bit of ginger ale, make a grab all. It normally goes away, but sometimes you get a really bad case of flippy and it sort of, sort of messes with you on a permanent basis, really. But here comes one that was able to overcome his flippiness by lying down and drinking some ginger ale and taking some grab all. Rey Mysterio. Stealing the victory from Pete Dunne, King of the Ring, too. Yep. That, that roll up was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. Here it comes. Notice that uh, beautiful little purple briefcase he got. I like that. That's solid. It's the first time we've seen, if I'm not mistaken, a physical representation of the King of the Ring contract. Well, I mean, hey, at least he's not out here in a crown. Could be worse. Yeah, he could be like a, a, a bear in a uh, core of bins. Yikes. He could have just went with something a little more subtle, like... He came out dressed as a constable or something. What do you mean? I was talking about a bear. Oh. Okay, anyway, back into the action. Rey Mysterio in complete control so far, <laughs> wrenching on the neck of Ricochet. Yikes. Both these men were in black and white as well. Very interesting 
maybe they talked before their match. I said, let's go at matching. It'll make it. It'll make one of us look better. That'd be cute. It will be. It's went for that leg drop from the top rope where Mysterio missing and Ricochet rolls right out of the way. Ricochet says, no, 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 I know that flippy stuff. I can do it too, so I can uh, keep an eye out for that. But so far, keeping it pretty map-based. Definitely, uh, which is which is really good. And that go for a very impressive gut wrench power bomb. Dead live gut wrench power bomb. Very impressive from Ricochet there, but Rey Mysterio is not the biggest of men. But Ricochet is in phenomenal shape. Absolutely, as he took a little too much time taunting there in the corner. Rey Mysterio got sure full did. advantage of that. Unfortunately, uh, Ricochet is putting on a good show for his first night. I have high hopes. Hopefully, he can pull something out of here as he hits a. Devastating clothesline in the corner, taking Ray to the ground. And then a kick to the chest as well. Definitely in full control here so far as we see him go for this deadlift again. Oh, one more time with that powerbomb. Very nice. Very nice. I'm in very nice. Oh, Astro's impressed. Look at that, Ray. Ray Shea, you have made Astro impressed. That's like a seal of approval as we get a kip up. Beautiful kip. I love seeing good kip ups. As now Ricochet taking the offense back to Rey Mysterio. No reversal from Rey Mysterio. Sliding over the shoulder. Big drop kick from Rey as well. Now going to the top rope. What's he got up there? I think Ricochet might be a little too close for you to do anything Where there, Mr. Ray Ray. Where are you, what are you looking at? I'd, I'd like to know that myself. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful Hurricane Rana from the top rope as now he pays homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero and misses a drop kick. Very unfortunate timing. I mean, stuff is happening. Look at that was a that was, that was a thing. Ricochet flew quite a bit there. He did indeed. As now Mysterio, here we go. Woo. Going for that move that put away Pete Dunne. Can he do it again? Oh, two nights in a row. No. Reversed by Ricochet, and Ricochet takes down the King of the Ring the same way. That Mysterio took down Pete Dunne. Very impressive performance by Ricochet here tonight. Wild. What a way to debut on Monday Night Raw. That now, if you look at it, Ray Ray is pretty darn close to the ropes there. The referee in pretty, pretty bad positioning there. I feel like Ray that might not sit well with him. It definitely might not. But uh, either way, the referee's rule is final. That was a little strange. Uh, referee spent a little too much time in the ring, but... Yeah, get out of the way. Let him celebrate. Ricochet coming out on top as we now move into our main event of the evening. He's rich for that brass ring. He is. Get it. Get it, boy. You get it, Ricochet. Good work tonight. Next, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Ooh. With this man and the dream. Oh, what's going on here? We getting some bad blood going on here tonight? Yeah, we I, are. I think bad blood has been brewing between these two for weeks. Sometimes these boys just like to fight Astro. Look at him go. The referee's like, nah, man, get off him. Fly says, nah, let me at him. Solid action. Solid action to kick off this match as both men. Dream in particular kind of running away. Yeah, right up the bat here, but Elias is saying, nah, boy. Car oh, vicious discus clothesline from Elias taking Velveteen Dream off his feet. Beautiful knee. Looks like Elias has been watching some of the SmackDown tapes. Yeah, that is, uh, that's one that would make Luke Harper proud. Now, has the bell rang yet, Astra? I do not believe it has. I do not believe that it has, but keep in mind, this is for the Intercontinental Championship, so should the bell happen to ring and Elias get disqualified, he does get to keep his championship, championship because... Championship advantage. Championship advantage. Oh. Dual clotheslines dodge while Elias picks him up for a Disgusting tossing body slam maneuver. That was just gross. Here we go. Elias setting Dream up for what looks to be a power bomb. Oh, please no. For the love of God. Ah, oh, Dream. That His poor spine. Ha ha ha. That's not the first time that's been said. That was a, that was a good one. I like oh, that one. Smooth as velvet. Uh, oh. Quit while you're ahead. That's my goal in life. Here we go, Elias throwing Velveteen in the ring. Let's see if he's uh, actually going to get this started. As the ref rings that bell and Velveteen immediately jumps out. Elias now thinking that he's done enough damage to to get the win, but it's looking like Dream still has a little bit left in the tank. 
Taking yeah. uh, taking Elias off guard there. Climbing in the ring and then immediately getting out. That he was Velveteen Dream now has the advantage here as our champion. He is taking a bit of a beating here right now. Not looking very good for my boy Elias. I gotta say, Elias has been a fantastic champion since taking that off. Bobby Roode at the Elimination Chamber, but how great would it be to see the title change hands here tonight on Monday Night Raw? I don't know, man. It'd be all right, I suppose. Okay. I was hoping you'd elaborate a little further on that. Ah, well, never mind. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Bobby Roode and Velveteen, of course, feuding a lot in the past couple of weeks, trying to get that spot for the number one contenders match here uh, tonight. Not number one contenders, the championship match tonight. Now, as I was um, to say, the belt is on the line here, despite the referee not indicating it at all, nor is the belt even seen. That's a good point. Um, of course, we just cut straight to this from commercial break, and Elias was already in the ring, and Velveteen on his way down the ramp. That so. was Elias here, missing with a lot of his offense, but hitting enough of it to catch Velveteen Dream off guard and hit this beautiful tossing body slam once more. It is gross. It is indeed gross. As Elias now taunting, knowing that he full well has this match in the bag at this point. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that that quickly as Velveteen Dream misses that knee and gets caught with a stiff right hand from Elias, followed by a left. Elias is in complete control. Yeah, it is. It looks too good for the Dream. Right in the corner, now going for knee to the spine. That can't be good for Velveteen. Take a page out of the beautiful and wonderful Morello Ronaldo. I think the Dream is over as Elias is going to the top rope. Looking for something. What are you going for here, Elias? As he goes for that signature elbow drop. Oh! And Velveteen rolling out of the way and to his feet. Got a little bit wrapped up there together, they did. That was very impressive on Velveteen's part. Yeah. Uh, you call it that if you want as he eats some turnbuckle for his gloating. Not doing too good, are you now, Velveteen Dream? I don't know why he taunted that much, but that was a devastating German suplex from Elias. Is now. Loved it. He's trying to make his way back to the corner. One more time for that elbow drop. Let's see if you can actually connect on the Velveteen Dream this time. No. No. Dream rolled out of the way there and made Elias just eat the mat as Velveteen Dream goes to the top rope here. But Elias is already on his feet. Misses with that elbow drop. And then an uppercut from Elias and a big boot to follow. Oof. Definitely taking some inspiration from Luke Harper here. Oh, it's definitely. Maybe uh, we'll see them together in the future. Who really knows here? Or even a match. You know, that would be a devastating tag team. Yeah. Two big, hairy, bearded men. Long hair, long black hair, long black beard, big boots, just just lariats. Yep. All around. Be all right. Oh, we got a roll up from Velveteen Dream here. It's trying to sneak the win just like Ricochet did moments ago with Rey Mysterio. But not going to work this time, Dream. Elias is uh, a little, little hardier. As we see the Dream Driver... Oh, so close to the ropes there, Elias. Come on, you can do it. A kick out at two, but he almost got him with that, uh, that devastating Dreamer Driver. Dreamer Driver. Now to the top rope. Are we going to see that purple Rainmaker? No. Just a diving body splash. That's all right. That's fine. I can see that, too. What are you, what are you, what are you going for here, uh? Dream, he just keeps going back to that corner. He really wants to hit it. He really, really wants to hit it. At, at it's very clear that he wants to hit it, but at this point, Elias is going to have you well scouted, Velveteen. That's fine. Still going to get it. Look at him. Oh, he didn't get it. He came up extremely short. I think maybe a little bit more range might have helped you out there, Dream. Oh, no. All in all, he's just going to drift away here, Dream. Oh, was, that was pretty smooth. That was a beautiful reversal was, from Elias. That's the same pun I made earlier. God, stupid, stupid. That was the same pun. <sighs> but, either way, Elias retaining his championship here tonight after several failed attempts from... Elbow drops from all Dream. around, just whiffing it, missing it over and over and over. Yeah, I feel like if Dream had just given up on that elbow drop and maybe gone for the uh, 
Rainmaker DDT might have been a whole different story as he almost put him away with that Dreamer Driver. Dreamer Driver, but not quite the case as we still have your Intercontinental Champion, Elias. Elias. Now, if you don't mind, I'm probably going to have to go get hold of Elias. I think I need to go for a walk with him, clear my head a little bit. Go take a stroll on the beach. I don't even I don't even know where we are. I don't even know if they have a beach. But I gotta clear my head, Astro. It's perfectly okay. Oh man. It's been a night. It's been a wild night. But that's it for Monday Night Raw. We are gonna be back tomorrow night with SmackDown Live and we hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you there.